Okay. Okay. Well, I just want to say first, I want to thank God for giving me this honor and privilege to to share with you there in Pakistan. It is a, a real honor for me, and I just want to thank. Okay, Yeah. Okay, you have to speak one sentence, then I will translate. But so, Saji, Kari, ki ye bade khushi ki baat hai ki aaj aapke saath khuda ke kalam share kar sakte hain, aur mujhe bade acha lag raha hai ki aap aaj mere saath ho sakte hain. I want to thank God. I want to thank God for using Brother Asif to to open up this opportunity to share with you today. Aage kya hai? Ke main Pastor Asif ka shukr guzar hu ki unhone ye mauka baksha ke main aapko bhi matlab Khuda ke kalam sikha sakta hu. So before we uh, get into the Bible study I would like for you to bow your heads with me as I pray. Let's pray. Dear loving Father, who art in heaven, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to take charge of this Bible study. हम चाहते हैं कि आप हमारा खुद जिम्मा लीजिए सारी बाइबल सीखने के मुताले में प्रे दैट योर एंजल्स विल सराउंड ईच पर्सन एज वी नाउ फोकस आवर अटेंशन ऑन योर वर्ड दुआ करते हैं कि आपके पास परिश्रम गान हमारी हिफाजत करें ताकि हम बड़े ध्यान से इस कलाम को सुन सकें एंड वी प्रे दैट योर होली स्पिरिट विल बी द टीचर नॉट मी और दुआ करते हैं कि खुदा मुझे सिखाने वाला आप करो हो ना कि हम एम्प्टी मी ऑफ सेल्फ एंड यूज मी एज योर वेसल हमें खाली कीजिए ताकि हम पूरे दिन खुदा मुझे आपके तो हम सिखा सके दैट द पीपल मे बी ब्लेस्ड एंड दैट यू मे बी ग्लोरीफाइड और हम सब इस कलाम के वसीला से बरकत पाए और सारा जलाल आपके नाम को मिले and we thank you for we ask this according to your will in the name of Jesus with thanksgiving amen hum bhi aap mante hain aapke paas mercy ke mutabik usi ke naam mein amen 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 praise the lord so our first we're going to be looking we're going to be looking at the gospel the gospel we need to understand the gospel this morning or this afternoon for you आज हम अंजील के बारे में सीखेंगे and the first scripture that we're going to go to is Matthew chapter 4 verse 23 मत्ती 4 बाप और उसकी तेईस आए अपनी बाइबल खोलें और मत्ती 4 बाप उसकी तेईस आए मत्ती की अंजील 4 बाप 3 नहीं डोंट टॉक बातें नहीं करनी किसी ने पाकिस्तान लैंग्वेज देर इट से I have Bible. Yes, it says Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in all in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. और ये सुतम हम दिल्ली में फिरता रहा और उनके इबादत खानों में तालीम देता और पाचाई की खुशखबरी की मुनादी करता. और लोगों को हर तरह की बीमारी और हर तरह की कमजोरी को दूर करता एमन एमन रिमेंबर जीसस इज द सेकंड पर्सन ऑफ द गॉड हेड ओके जी खुदा को यीशु मसीह खुदा बाप के बाद दूसरा दर्जा रखते हैं एंड ही केम टू अर्थ टू बिकम वन ऑफ अस
और वो हमारी तरह ही इंसान बनकर दुनिया में आए so that he can reveal to us his love his character his compassion towards us aur wo isliye duniya mein aaye the ki wo humein apni mohabbat dikha sake ki khuda humse kitni mohabbat karta hai aur wo duniya mein hai wo duniya hai na wo duniya hai Okay, brother, speak. I can't hear you. Now notice that he it says here in Matthew 4:23 that he preached the gospel of the kingdom. आप लोगों ने इस बात इस सवाल में गौर किया होगा कि खुदावन यीशु सी खुशखबरी के बारे में बता रहे हैं कि वो दुनिया पर आए किस लिए थे. But not everyone could receive the gospel. Only certain amount of people can receive the gospel. Okay. और जो लोग खुशखबरी को सुनते हैं उनके लिए ये खुशखबरी है कि वो तमाम बीमारियों से रहा पा सकते हैं So it is very important for us to understand what the gospel is and so that we can be healed of everything that we 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 want we need to be healed from. Aur hum is baat ko sikhenge ki kis tarah se matlab hum apni bimariyon se rehai pa sakte hain us khushkhabri ko sunkar kis tarah se hum apni bimariyon se chutkara pa sakte hain mushkilon se chutkara pa sakte hain. And the greatest disease that we need to be healed from is evil and sin and wickedness aur sab sabse jo badi bimari hai hamari zindagiyon mein wo kya hai guna guna sabse badi bimari hai jo hamari zindagiyon mein paayi jaati hai aur badi let's turn to the book of luke i want to show you all the people that were that were able to receive the gospel in chapter in luke chapter 4 गॉस्पल हम देखेंगे कि किस तरह से किस तरह के लोग थे जो कुछ खबरी को कबूल कर सकते थे कुछ खबरी को सुन सकते थे द बाइबल सेज एंड दिस इज जीसस स्पीकिंग द स्पिरिट ऑफ कलाम गो हेड या कलाम में लिखा है यीशु इट सेज यीशु उसी पर मानते हैं कि खुदा करूं इट सेज द स्पिरिट ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज अपॉन मी बिकॉज़ ही हैज अनॉइंटेड मी टू डू समथिंग टू प्रीच द गॉस्पल बट नोटिस हु इज प्रीचिंग द गॉस्पल टू to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised and to preach the acceptable year of the lord praise god aur jo jaaniyon mein boye gaye wo kaun hai aur ye wo hai jinhone kalam suna aur duniya ki fikr और दौलत का प्रेम और लालच और चीजों का लालच दाखिल होकर कलाम को दबा देते हैं और वो बेफल रह जाता है इसलिए कि उसने मुझे गरीबों को खुशखबरी देने के लिए मसा किया मुझे भेजा है कि कैदियों को रिहाई और अंधों को बिनाई पाने की खबर सुनाओ कुचले हुओ को आजाद करो हु डिड ही प्रीच द गॉस्पल टू मदर कैन यू कैन यू प्लीज या सो नोटिस नोटिस हु डिड ही प्रीच द गॉस्पल टू टू द पुअर टू द ब्रोकन हार्टेड टू द कैप्टिव्स एंड टू द ब्लाइंड एंड दोस दैट वर ब्रूज्ड और आप लोगों ने यहां पर कलाम सुना है कि किन के लिए खुशखबरी थी गरीबों के लिए कैदियों के लिए अंधों के लिए और उन लोगों के लिए जो अपनी परेशानियों में दबे हुए हैं कुचले हुए हैं 
परेशान है The Bible tells us that there's a group of people in the world that think they're rich and increased with goods and this is why they think they have need of nothing. Aap log apni zindagi dekhte hain mahol mein kuch log hote hain jo apne aap ko ameer samajhte hain. Wo sochte hain ki hamare paas zyada daulat hai. Hamare paas bahut zyada paisa hai, hamare paas bada acha hai. Hamare paas bahut tarah tarah ki asaishi hai. This is why to be rich can be can be a curse because it can cause us to lose sight of our need of Jesus Christ aap log samajh sakte hain ki daulat jo hai ye ek tarah ki bimari hai jo insaan ko ye sochne par majboor karti hai ke matlab woh daulat hi uske liye saath hai abraham was a rich man but he did not have this problem he he could be trusted to follow jesus christ aap log ko abraham ke bare mein pata hai abraham ameer tha lekin usne bhi mukti nahi bale wo hi ameer tha lekin uska khuda par yakeen tha aur wo khud usko imandaron ka baap kaha gaya so we need to, need to understand what this gospel is because it's so important for us for those of us that are broken hearted that are that are poor that are that are have all these issues we need we need to know we need to know the gospel hume ye samajhne ki zarurat hai ki khushkhabri kya hai ye jaanna hamare liye bada zaruri hai ki khushkhabri hamare liye hai kya so the question is what is the gospel is sawal ye pada hota hai ki khushkhabri kya hai let's turn to the book of romans chapter 1 and verse the mere pehla bhaga verse the tell me the verse please and verses 14 to 17 paul tells us what the gospel is the mere pehla bhaga aur uski satya se humesh aata hai satya se humesh 14 se 17 okay start now start with you okay so paul says this he says i am i am a debtor both to the greeks and to the barbarians both to the wise and to the unwise so as much as it in me is i am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at rome also for i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ and then he reveals what it is he says for it is the power of god unto salvation to every one that believeth to the jew first and also to the greek for therein is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith main yutaniyon mein aur gayad yutaniyon danao aur nadano ka darz dal hu bas main tumko bhi jo roma mein kuch khabri sunate ho sunane ko hatta hal mazdoor kya hu kyunki main anjeev se shamata nahi इसलिए कि हमारे के मान लाने वाले के वास्ते यहूदी फिर यूनानी के वास्ते नजात के लिए खुदा की कुदरत है इस वास्ते कि इसमें खुदा की रास्तबाजी ईमान से और ईमान के लिए जाहिर होती है जैसा कि लिखा है कि रास्तबाज ईमान से जीता रहेगा एमन एमन नाउ आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस वांट टू हैव दिस पावर ऑफ गॉड अंडर सल्वेशन इतने लोग जाता सकता ना कहते हैं हाथ खड़ा करें आमेन प्रेज द लॉर्ड हालेलुया मी टू आई वांट दिस आई वांट दिस पावर टू आमेन क्या कहते मैं भी ये चाहता हूं मैं भी नहीं जाता सकता सकता हूं नोटिस दैट पॉल रिवील्स दैट इट इज द पावर ऑफ गॉड अंडर सल्वेशन टू एवरीवन दैट बिलीव्स एंड डज इट कैन प्लीज रिपीट यस Paul reveals in this in Romans that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation to those to everyone that believes. Okay, yahan par is sawale mein aap logo ne suna hai ke najat ki sab ke liye hai jo matlab khuda ne yakeen rakhte hain jo usse khalasi pana chahte hain jo gunaahon se khalasi pana chahte hain. He also says that in the gospel 
is revealed the righteousness of God. Or हम इसमें खुदा की राष्ट्रबाजी देखते हैं कि खुदा में राष्ट्रबाजी पाई जाती है so to understand the righteousness of god gives us so khuda ki rasbazi ko samajhne ke liye gives us power unto salvation aur khuda hame ajaat kabool karne ki taqat bakhshta hai this means that once we know who god is and how much he really loves us it will give us power jab hum samajh jate hain ki khuda kaun hai और वो किस और उसका मेरी जिंदगी में क्या किरदार है और वो किस और उसका मेरी जिंदगी में क्या किरदार है उसे हमें समझने की जरूरत है जीसस क्राइस्ट रिवील दी जस्ट लाइक Do bad things happen on earth? Sorry, bad things. I'm bad. I'm bad. You're bad. What did you say? Yeah, it's a question. Do bad things happen on earth, even to even to good people? Ah, for me, it's a question. Is there a bad thing that happens to good people? You mean what? Yes. Children are saying yes. Right. Jesus Christ was. the best he was so good but bad things happened to jesus too right yes to see last baat the lekin unke sath bhi bura hua tha aise hi this shows that god doesn't necessarily he cannot necessarily prevent people from doing bad things because he gave them freedom to to do what to to use their power to do what they want to do but go ahead और आज भी ऐसे ही होता है अगर आसपासों के साथ भी बुरा होता है और मतलब खुदा ने आपको पता है जैसे यूं कोई इजाजत दी थी कि आप जो चाहे करें इसी तरह आज भी आसपासों के साथ बुरा भी होता है पीपल यूज द फ्रीडम दैट गॉड हैज गिवन देम टू डू बैड थिंग्स डू इवल खुदा ने मतलब हमें पावर ऑफ चॉइस दी हुई है कि हम बदी करें या अच्छाई करें एंड गॉड डज नॉट टेक अवे देयर फ्रीडम बिकॉज़ गॉड इज नॉट अ डिक्टेटर खुदा ने हमसे हमारी आजादी नहीं छीनी खुदा ने ये बात हम पे छोड़ दिया कि हम अच्छाई को चुनते हैं या बुराई को चुनते हैं जीसस रिवील्ड दिस एट द क्रॉस ही वाज अब्यूज्ड एंड ही वाज एक्सेक्यूटेड यीशु मसीह ने बात जाहिर की कलबरी पर कि जब ने नाम काम किया गया मारा गया ताया गया बट एट द सेम टाइम ही शोड अस दैट वी कैन हैव पावर टू एंडयर ऑल थिंग्स Sorry, brother. At the same time, at Calvary, Jesus showed us. Can you please? Yes, at Calvary, Jesus also revealed. But as we see, as we see, Calvary is our life. He also revealed that we can have. And as we see, power. And as we see, he did Calvary for us. And he had that power. 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 या उस आपको पता है ना फिर इसी भी कहते थे कि आपके पास आप उतरा नीचे लेकिन यीशु मसीह ने ऐसा नहीं किया उन्होंने अपनी पावर को इस्तेमाल नहीं किया जीसस वाज बीइंग ट्रीटेड बैडली बट ही हैड द पावर टू से टू गॉड फादर फॉरगिव देम फॉर दे नो नॉट व्हाट दे डू खुदा ने यीशु मसीह के पास भी तो पावर थी He had power. फिर भी उन्होंने क्या कहा कि माफ करके नहीं जानते। Jesus had power to love his enemies, those that were his enemies, that were treating him like an enemy. Yes, 
یہ بھی قوت تھی کہ وہ اپنے دشمنوں سے بھی کیا کر سکتے تھے محافظت کرتے تھے میں نے ان کو محافظ کرنے کے لیے کہا کہ بابا He had power not to get angry or feel self-pity. He felt more sad for those that were doing evil to him than for himself. He didn't think about himself. That is the power of God unto salvation. I want that power. I want to be able to love those who do bad things to me. This characteristic of God has been a mystery throughout all ages. Look at Mark chapter 4 verse 11. Uh, which book? Will please tell to read the book? Mark chapter 4 and verse 11. Uh, okay, Mark chapter 4, verse 11. Verse 11. Verse 11. Okay, start reading. It says, And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. اور اس نے ان سے کہا کہ تم کو خدا کی بادشاہی کا بھیت دیا گیا ہے مگر ان کے لیے جو باہر ہیں سب باتیں تمثیلوں میں ہوتی ہیں امین امین these secrets are revealed to you and me today یہ خدا کے بھیت آج کلام کے ذریعے سے آپ پر اور مجھ پر ظاہر ہوئے ہیں those who are in the world who think that they know everything and they think that they're rich they cannot receive the gospel those out there that have pride and have riches and, and, and think they, they know everything, they are blocking themselves. They cannot receive these truths, the gospel. They cannot receive it. The only way they can receive these truths is if they humble their hearts and realize they need Jesus. They need to know who God is and God is revealed. And God is revealed in Jesus Christ. Let's go to Romans chapter 16. Verses 25 to 26. The Bible says, Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Now, God, who you have given me my happiness, that is, the one who has given me 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 the one who has Amen. Amen. 
Why is it saying that this was a mystery from the beginning and it's now being revealed? Sorry, brother. Why, why is this scripture saying that this gospel was a mystery but now it's being revealed? Kalam. Kalam here making the Panachara. For the answer to that question, we're going to go to Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. I'm going to go to that myself because it wasn't in my notes, but I'm, I, I'm impressed to read that to you. So I'm going to go there now. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. It says, God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, who he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. <laughs> इस जमाना के आखिर में हमसे बेटे की मार्फत कलाम किया जिसे उसने सब चीजों का वारिस ठहराया और जिसके वसीला से उसने आलम भी पैदा किए वो उसके जलाल का परतु और उसकी जात का नक्श होकर सब चीजों को अपनी कुदरत के कलाम से संभालता है वो गुनाहों को धोकर आलम पाला पर किबरिया की दहनी तरफ जा बैठा अमीन अमीन now, the reason why this has been a mystery, the, the gospel, is because Jesus Christ had not come to earth yet. It says that God spoke to us through the prophets in time past he spoke to the fathers by the prophets in the times past in the old testament in those times past okay but it says yes. it says in these last days in other words in new testament times and onward he has spoken to us by his son, Jesus Christ. Okay. Praise the Lord. Now, if we go to, I think it's Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter three. Chapter three. We're gonna see. Yes, we're gonna see something very, very, very important here. We're going to see something here, starting from verse twelve. Um. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter 3, starting from verse 12. Let me know when you're there, and then I'll start reading. Okay, but let us start reading. Okay. It says, Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech, and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look 
to the end of that which is abolished, but their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. Read first from verses 12 to 14 for me. Okay. So if the writing of the Old Testament and uh, when we read it, it's like we're reading it with a veil over our eyes. It means that there must be some obscurities in the Old Testament writings in regard to God's character. And the Old Testament writers could not see clearly the character of God as when Jesus Christ came in person. And this is why we see here in second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 15 it says even unto this day when Moses is read the veil is upon their hearts nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away verse 15 and 16 this is why it's important to understand the gospel because the gospel reveals the righteousness of God himself Notice again, and we're going to close with this. We, we might close with this scripture. Let's see here. Um, yes, let's go to we're going to, we're going to Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5. Verses Yes, yes. Okay, please start again. Please tell me about the verse, chapter 5 in Ephesians. Ephesians chapter, chapter verse. Yes. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 to 32. 25 to? To 32. 32. Okay, start reading then. It says, Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, mm -hmm. that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot 
or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loves his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth it and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. जैसे मसीह ने इक्लीसिया से मोहब्बत करके अपने आप को उसके वास्ते मौत के हवाले कर दिया ताकि उसको कलाम के साथ गुस्सल से पानी से गुस्सल देकर साफ करके मुकद्दस बनाए और ऐसे जलाल वाली इक्लीसिया बनाकर अपने पास हाजिर करे जिसके बदन में दाग या झुरी या कोई और ऐसी चीज ना हो बल्कि पाक और बेअब हो इसकी तरह शौरों को लाजिम है कि अपनी बीवियों से अपने बदन की मानी मोहब्बत रखें जो अपनी बीवी से मोहब्बत रखता है वो अपने आप अपने आप से मोहब्बत रखता है क्योंकि कभी किसी ने अपने जिसम से दुश्मनी नहीं की बल्कि उसको पालता है और परवरिश करता है जैसे कि मसीह कलिसिया को इसलिए कि हम उसके बदन के अजूब हैं इसी सब से आदमी अब बाप से और माँ से जुदा होकर अपनी बीवी के साथ रहेगा और दोनों एक जिसम होंगे Amen. Amen. The mystery of the gospel is that God is love and that He has married the human race. God has married me. He has married you. We all have been bitten by the serpent. We have all been stung by sin. The Bible says we've all been born in sin and shaped in iniquity. This is what humanity has chosen from the beginning. Adam and Eve chose to sin and we all have been affected and infected. But Jesus has promised that he wants to cleanse us. Jesus wants to wash us. Because he wants to present us to himself as a bride. A glorious church. Without any spots, wrinkles or blemishes. He wants to give you and me power. Power so that we can go through any troubles that the world brings and have peace and have joy and have love. That power will make us happy in every situation and every circumstance that we find ourselves in. Our 
Our final scripture, we're going to close with this final scripture. We're going to go to Colossians chapter 1. Verses 26 and 27. The Bible says, we're talking about this mystery, the gospel, the, the righteousness of Christ, the character of God revealed in Jesus Christ. No, it's Colossians chapter 1. Verses 26, 26 and 27. It says, 26 and 27. It says, Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Amen. Christ wants to live in you and in me. He wants to give you his mind. He wants to work out his will in our lives. And he wants us to operate by his faith, not ours. He will use you and me to make this mystery known to make it to those who don't have who don't who don't know it. When people see you with power, they will want to know about your Jesus. They want to see the love of God in you and in me. He wants even those that treat us bad to see the love of God. I'm sorry, brother. I couldn't hear you. He wants even, tho even those that treat us as enemies to see Jesus Christ, the love of God in, in us. Because God loves, God loves even the most unlovable of us. My prayer is that Jesus Christ will go into every one of our hearts so that we can be instruments in His hands to save many, many souls. God wants you and me to become the gospel to humanity. So that when people see you, they will read the love of God for them. So I want to pray for every one of you this, this, this afternoon. 
I want to ask you to bow your heads with me and close your eyes as I close with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear loving Father which art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for revealing to us what the gospel means and what it is. It is the power of the revelation of your ceaseless agape love. I pray, Lord, for every single soul that is within the hearing of my voice. That you will anoint each person with your Holy Spirit. That you will bless each person with your mind. That every person will learn to operate through your faith. Give each soul strength to continue to go forward in your power. And may you use each one of these precious souls as instruments in your cause. Bless them, bless their families, and bless their friends. Provide all the needs for this ministry so they can continue to go far and wide. And Lord, we look forward to the day when we see you coming in the clouds of glory to take us home. Continue to bind us to Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that you will keep us connected to Jesus Christ and to each other. And we ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, with thanksgiving. Amen.